great battles we have seen this evening. Some of the best racing of the week we have seen in this very final session. Another batch of medal presentations now. Beginning with the women's 50 metres backstroke for the S4 classification. Medalists accepting cheers of the crowd, Maria Lafina from Ukraine. One of the relative newcomers that has come through the Ukrainian system in recent years. They have had so many swimmers come through to these major championships and contend for the medals especially in the lower numerical classifications. Remember S1 to S10, S1 being the most severe impairment, S10 being the least impaired. They've got strength all the way through the classifications, but they are really winning medals in the lower classifications more than any others. And here's another young lady, Marina Verbova. Well, she challenged in the early stages as we thought she might, the 16 year old couldn't quite keep pace with the world record holder. Afina with the bronze, Verboba with the silver. The gold medal though, Rizet Turneson from the Netherlands, the home team. To the delight of our fans here in the stand, they've all made their way down to the stands very close to the medal presentation area. Just to the right of where Lizette Turnison is. Turnison looking up to them. It did look like she was going to be the perennial silver medalist here. She's had some great performances, some great battles with Ariola Trimi of Italy. Four silver medals and now a gold for Lizette Turnison of the Netherlands. of the Netherlands looks up to the crowd just on her right hand side the nation's flags just on the left hand side of the medal podium as we see them or was it Tonyson's left hand side and the three medalists Tonyson Verbova and Lafina And still making a lot of noise there for their champion tonight, Lizette Turnison. The men's 50 metres freestyle S8. Two Russian rivals. One and two on the podium. The third place though, Paul Antonenko from Ukraine. It's 
accepts the bronze medal. 27.50 was the time for Bodan Hernenko. He's ahead of his teammate from Ukraine, Yuri Bozinski. Bodan Hernenko, the bronze medalist. And there's the silver medalist, Konstantin Lysenkov. There's been a few close calls for Lysenkov in the individual events. Again, silver medal in the 200 medley. Silver medal in the 100 backstroke. Silver in the 100 free. And now silver in the 50 free. What about this young man, Denis Tarasov? A world record in the 100 freestyle, now a world record in the 50. And what a swim that was, 25.32. Almost half a second faster than the world record that he set last year at the World Championships in Montreal. Just how fast can this man go? Well, accepts the, the medal, the mascot, the bouquet of flowers for the record breakers here. Dennis Tarasov follows up his win in the 100 freestyle with a win in the 50. It's gold medal to Tarasov of Russia. Dennis Tarasov in the centre, a new world record in the 50 metres freestyle for S8 classification. The women's 50 freestyle S8. Bronze medalist from Russia, Alicia Vladikina. Championships. She had good swims. And she had some not so good swims, but Bloody Cannot on a medal podium again in bronze medal position. Had a dead heat in the 100 breaststroke for the gold medal position with Claire Cashmore of Great Britain. It's bronze this time. Bloody Cannot. Katarina Istamina. Well, thought that she may challenge for this title and that was how it proved well, she certainly challenged for the medal positions silver medalist in the 100 meters butterfly which again she was very close to the gold medal position but Katerina Istomina it's a silver medal again for the Ukrainian swimmer because this young lady was absolutely fantastic. Stephanie 
Slater wins the gold medal for Great Britain in a time of 30.44, a new European record. Previous record stood at 31.21. So that is 0.77 of a second better than the old mark. Great swim by Stephanie Slater, who has been sensational this week. Putting gold in the 100 freestyle, gold in the 100 back, gold in the 100 fly, gold in the 200 IM. Now gold in the 53. Stephanie Slater from Great Britain. Steph says the flag, she certainly did. Stephanie Slater takes it 30.44, just 0.3 of a second now outside the world record held by Madison Elliott, who Stephanie Slater swam against in the Commonwealth Games just a couple of weeks ago. Madison Elliott and Stephanie Slater. Looks like that's going to be one of the big rivalries moving into the Glasgow World Championships next year and of course into Rio in 2016. Stephanie Slater has had a...